If you want to edit your videos, or maybe you're looking for a platform to edit your videos on, in today's video, I'm gonna be taking you on a spin, on a tour, a guided tour of the platform I use. Keep watching. Hey, Mike Blissett here, founder of Speak Like a Pro Online, sharing ideas, tools, and techniques to help you speak with more confidence, make better videos, and grow your business. On this channel, you see book review, how to, and tech videos, just like this one. So if you're enjoying it, remember, hit the like button. And also, if it's your first time here, remember also to click the subscribe and the notification bell so you get to know every single time I upload a new video. So if you are at the point in your business where you're already making videos or you're thinking about making videos and you'd like to move them on to the next level, whatever the next level is, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing the software that I use and also giving you an introduction to it as well. Now, the editing software that I use is called ScreenFlow for Mac and it's by a company called Telestream and I'll leave some links just below this video. So if you want to check them out, if you want to try it out for free and just see if this is the kind of thing you're looking for, then as I say, I'll leave the links just below this video. Uh, in a nutshell, uh, ScreenFlow for Mac has two primary functions. Number one is to give you the ability to edit a video. So you would film a video on your on your phone or in your uh, maybe a camcorder or maybe a DSLR camera. You'd import the file into your computer and then edit it. So that's the main function. Uh, that's the one that I think most people use. I certainly use it for that. And I've used ScreenFlow for Mac for about six or seven years now. Um, the other and it's kind of a USP that uh, ScreenFlow for Mac has, is it gives you the ability to record your screen and to record your screen with sound as well. And then afterwards, of course, you can go back and edit it because it's an editing software. So what I mean by recording your screen is that you can potentially, if you want to, record a, a webinar. So whether you use PowerPoint or Keynote, if you're on a Mac or a PC, you can record yourself basically narrating slides. You can include within your slides a video of you presenting or doing something or a video of some content. And then whilst you're recording your video to camera, also record your screen and that captures that real time as well. So when you take all of that content into ScreenFlow, and I'll show you how to do that in a moment, it means that you can not only use the content that you recorded from your camera, as I'm doing now, but you can also record the content you will have recorded from the screen. And that gives you, as a trainer, as a speaker, as someone who is creating content, a greater um, possibility of being, being able to create content for your uh, client base. So let's jump into the software now. I'm gonna share my screen so you can look over my shoulder and see what I'm doing on the computer now. I'm gonna be opening the app ScreenFlow and you can see it's gonna open uh, an initial screen, a box, and it's gonna give you options of what, uh, it's really asking you what kind of uh, material do you want to work on. So uh, it can be a new recording where you just talk to camera or you're talking to your camera and you just we call it real time into ScreenFlow. You can import a document and that's where you import some film you've maybe recorded before. An example is I'm recording this uh, video into my iPhone and then I'm, I'm going to be uh, uploading that document onto my computer and into ScreenFlow. So that's my process. If you're on a DSLR camera or a camcorder, you record your video onto a, uh, um, like a memory card and then when you've finished recording it, take the memory card out of the camcorder or the, uh, or the camera and put it into uh, the SD, the, the, the memory slot on your computer, and then you can upload that file. So that's what a new document means. Recent documents are basically projects you're working on. So if you click that, you'll see all the recent documents you've been working on. You can see it's got uh, various presets. So the, the preset, the standard preset, um, and you can just click this blue arrow, up and down arrow there, and get all the different presets as well. Um, but I'm just gonna click the standard one, and it's called a preset because it's preset, it's the standard one, is is 1080p. Okay, so the dashboard is the main screen on the top left, and it's the majority of the screen here. 
this is you can call it a viewfinder or the or the video screen so this is where in a moment when i import a file you'll see the video and what that will show you is what your uh, finished edited video will look like one of the uh, additional benefits of, of working with ScreenFlow is that it comes with a media library where you've got an endless supply of, of clips of b-roll and equally of music as well so you don't have to go hunting around the internet unless you want and some people do that but equally you can get a version of ScreenFlow and I'll talk you through that in a moment uh, where it's all in there as well and equally with b-roll you can record your own b-roll so you can go out with your phone with your camera whatever it is and record um, things on the street in the city in a coffee shop and um, you know wherever you might want to record video uh, to use as additional just mini segments of additional video which we call b-roll <laughs> So you put all these files in this uh, top right hand corner and this is where your media library is and now just above the media center you've got some icons and so I'm going to talk you through all of these if you want a more in-depth uh, uh, tutorial training video on how to use uh, ScreenFlow and equally edit a video and upload it and all the rest of it let me know in the comments box below and I'll gladly do that for you as well. Uh, but the, 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 um, the icons, um, the tools that I use uh, are these. So the first one is, I'm just going to click on this. So it's in the top right hand column, just above media library. And it's, I'll zoom in a little bit. There you go. And it's this. And this is the, uh, I'll just click that. It's basically an icon of a, a movie tape, basically. And so you click that and you'll see when I import a video in a moment, you, this will then uh, be activated and I can make the, the, the video, I can zoom in, zoom out, um, I can change the rotation, move it around a little bit, um, I, I can change the color, so the, there are things you can do that to make it look the way you want it to look in the viewfinder. The next uh, icon along that I use um, every single video, yeah it's the audio, that's it. And again when we bring the video into the uh, into this suite and in a few moments you'll see this is activated. The uh, next icon I uh, use is the T, uh, it's for text and it's where you can uh, create a text box over your video where if you want to for example have a title so if uh, you've seen in many of my videos I, I sometimes share three or five or ten top tips or how to's or uh, mistakes to avoid or something and when I introduce each one there'll be some titles slide across the screen and then slide out again and then the final icon on the right is it just uh, clicks you back to the media library all right and so then we move into the bottom third of the screen and this is the timeline so this is where we'll be putting the file and depending how long your file is whether your video is two minutes or ten minutes or an hour you'll see it in here. There are various uh, gray areas here where the, the, I'm sure you can see on this uh, recording there are lines, there are dark gray lines here. Basically these are channels. So each piece of content that you uh, upload into ScreenFlow will be a channel. So the first channel is usually your video, that's it. If you import a, um, uh, some music that will be another channel. If you import uh, some slides, that will be another channel. If you import uh, some uh, intro and outro graphics, that will be another channel. If you import some B-roll, each of those will be another channel. So uh, there are some other tools here. One is this uh, red bar that goes across the, uh, the timeline, and this is your splicer. So this is where, when we import the content, um, content in a moment, You'll be, you'll be able to see we can start to move this depending where we want to uh, splice so cut content and then maybe delete a bit where there's nothing happening or we make a mistake and it's gone and so this is your splice like a chopper tool that's that at the bottom of the screen on the left hand corner is a zoom in zoom out uh, slider and again there we go it just zooms in and zooms out and then finally We've got the, uh, the three controls here that you've, you'll have seen on every MP3 or 
player in tape recorder than probably ever seen. And this is the play, the rewind and the fast forward button. One final box, and you'll see this in action in a moment, is your, is your timer, is your counter. It'll show you where you are in your clip as you're working through the project. Right, so let's, um, let's begin this project. So I think a good place to start, and I'm not gonna go into how to edit a video today. It's really, that's quite in depth. And if you want to know how to do that, I will talk you through one of those uh, videos real time. You can look over my shoulder again. Um, leave a comment in the box below and let me know that you'd like to see a video where I edit a video. So a step by step guide, you can do that as well. So I'm just gonna whistle through it today. I'm not gonna really spend a lot of time showing you how to edit a video, but I am going to edit, uh, uh, import a video so you can see it as well. Okay, so the next step is where we uh, import a file, the main, I guess the main body of work, your video, so that you can start look, seeing what you need to edit as well. So I'm going to click insert. So on this top toolbar, uh, you can see the, the words here are from the left is screen flow and then file, edit, mark, insert. I'm going to click insert and the bottom option is choose. I'll hit play and you can see what we do here. I'm just going to show you how you can use the splicer just one time and maybe a couple and then you can see what we can do there. So I'll just hit play. So if I wanted to start the video here, this bottom red uh, square is where if you click that, now you've just spliced it, you've cut your video down, that, down to that point. And let's zoom out a little bit again so you can see it all. So this first bit, if you click on it, it highlights that first bit. You can see that that is now cut, that's the segment. And we don't want that segment. So all you do is hit delete and it's gone. And then if you click on the uh, part of the timeline that you've still got, that you want to keep, then you hold your mouse or your, or, or your finger on your tracker pad down and just slide the timeline to the zero, to the beginning, and then Click the rewind button and play it again. It should go straight into the video now. If you've ever wondered what software I use... There you go. If you want to um, edit uh, a mistake in the middle of a video, and I'm just going to do this very quickly. I'm not even going to play it. So I can see there's a gap there. So we'd slice that and I can see there was another gap kind of here, maybe. So uh, if, if you play this through, if this is your clip and you think, oh, I made a mistake there, I want to cut that 30 seconds or a minute or 10 minutes out. You just uh, splice at the beginning and the end of the bit that you want to remove, click it and it highlights it, hit delete and it deletes. And then you can just, again, move, slide the clip over and join it together. You can even overlap it if you want to, but, and that's where one, uh, one shot fades into another. That's what you do when, uh, when you overlap a clip like that. Um, but equally, if you just want it to be one shot moving uh, very nicely and smoothly into a next shot, that's where they sit side by side. Okay, so next, let's look at the uh, media library. This is um, additional content that you can include in your screen flow if you want to, and I'll explain how that works in, in, in a few moments. Uh, but as I mentioned in the beginning, you can have three main types of content, video, audio, and graphics. And so if you're going to include some B-roll, and uh, by the way, B-roll, you, you remember I, I mentioned at the beginning, you can shoot B-roll yourself with your own camera or your, your cell phone as well, and then import that into this. But equally, if you want to use the B-roll that's supplied within the media library from ScreenFlow, they have like, I don't know how many, like thousands upon thousands and thousands of little clips of uh, B-roll that you can use as well. So let's just unclick audio and graphics. And by the way, if you're looking for uh, audio, like background music or intro music or you know, sound effects, that's in audio and graphics. Obviously, you want things happening on the screen like explosions or whatever, they're in graphics. So the same would be for that. So let's just say uh, we want video and you put in a description of someone uh, or, or a description of what you're looking for. For example, um, office, uh, worker. I don't know. Let's see if there's anything comes back. Okay, office worker. So, and equally, there are just literally, and as you scroll down, it uploads more and more and more. And there's so many here. So, let's find something that just shows someone using a computer just for a few seconds. Remember, a picture or a graphic or a video can tell a thousand words, it can explain what you're talking about. 
So let's select this one. So you just double click it and it downloads it into this place on the timeline where my cursor was, okay? So, but equally you can move this wherever we wanna move it as well. Now, if you're interested in downloading the free trial version of ScreenFlow for Mac, obviously it kind of does what it said on the can for this software, it is for Mac users. And then just follow the link below the screen and you can get that free trial and then use it for as long as you want. And that's, that's good to go, that's great. And then if you want to uh, then get the ScreenFlow for Mac, so get the paid for version where you can use it for real to upload your content and create your courses, then there are two versions. The first one is everything I just showed you. So ScreenFlow for Mac editing suite. And then the other version is where it's all of that and it comes with the media library as well. So one is without the media library, so you would upload your own music or get music from elsewhere and then bring that into uh, screen flow and equally you could shoot your own b-roll or get b-roll from somewhere else and then upload it to uh, uh, screen flow for Mac or you can get the it's called a bundle where you get screen flow for Mac editing software and the media library uh, imported or included in that as well and it means you have the uh, royalty free rights to use whatever content is there within your programs within your videos within your whatever you use promotional materials etc you've got the license to do that so the price of the two editing softwares if you want to get the ScreenFlow for mac editing software and all that it comes with without the media library that's 100 and i think it's 129 dollars us and if you're here in the uk i'm in the uk that works out to about 97 99 pounds depending on currency uh, exchange rates i guess and if you want to get the, the what, uh, it's just a word ScreenFlow used, the bundle. So you get the editing software and the media library as well. That's a hundred and, I believe that's $175. And that works out to around about 132, 135 pounds here in the UK. And uh, I think it's a really, really uh, useful uh, framework to use. Now I, I have tried some other platforms before and I do use some other platforms at the moment as well, and I'll share those if you're interested in, uh, in the coming weeks and months. So if you have enjoyed this video, remember click the like button, and if it's been your first time here, remember hit the subscribe and the notification bell so you get to know next time I upload a new video. And remember, this channel is all about sharing ideas, tools, and techniques to help you speak with more confidence, make better videos, and grow your business online. I'm Mike Blissett, take care.